Okay, so the presentation I am doing is Feed My Starving Children. The company's mission statement. As a Christian nonprofit organization, Feed My Starving Children is called to feed God's starving children, hungry in body and spirit. You will hear us say this again and again. We want to reach everyone until all are fed. We truly mean this. This means reaching the hard-to-reach people in places, the least of these. They will be found and they will be fed. With God's help, we will work together with organizations and ministries across the globe to end hunger. So the target market includes those of all ages, gender, and backgrounds who want to volunteer their time to help those who are in need. While the company is known for the religious background of Christianity, any type of religion you are does not matter. Female Serving Children has locations in Illinois, Arizona, Minnesota, and Texas, and they also have a couple of warehouse places in like North Carolina and stuff like that. And these locations are in suburban areas, which means there's a greater market of people like families, sports teams, clubs, stuff, stuff like that. So their current social media outreach is that they currently have 27,000 plus followers on Instagram, 98,000 followers on Facebook, and 3.8 thousand followers on X, also known as Twitter. They post frequently on their platforms with live videos of volunteers working hard, updates on how the company is reaching those in need, when the next events are, and, and so on. They keep their followers updated so they can continue to help the community and those who are in need. So SWOT analysis, I did about two per thing just to give a rough idea of what it was. So some of their strengths are they're very efficient production compared to their competition. They can produce, Feed My Starving Children is almost at like 100 something plus per thing while other companies are only about 40 and it's only like 21 or 22 cents a package while other companies are 23, 24 cents for each meal. And their distribution partner selection, they have up to 100 distribution partners with who are operate in 70 plus different countries internationally. For the weaknesses, their expenses have reached up to thirty-six million dollars, which doesn't really balance the um, doesn't really balance out. The high shipping cost there is very high shipping costs from Minnesota locations, and there's no measurement of long-term food aid impact. You can only see like what's in the present. The opportunities there's over six hundred thousand plus volunteers allowed that have been allowed to be a part of the opportunity, and they fundraise over thirty-eight million dollars for those in need to provide meals. And some of the threats, like I was talking about in the strength, there are Kids Against Hunger is the second leader of pack meals. They're at about 40-something. While I get Feed by Serving Children, they're at like 120. And then the other one is Stop Hunger Now is also another competitor. And there's they're the third leader. They're at like, I think, 30-something meals per <laughs> compared to the other competition. So their advertising objective, sales, and popularity. On the Feed My Serving Children website, under resources, the company provides images that they use on Facebook instagram as well as their financial results of what is happening and their promotional materials their objectives is to continue gaining volunteers to feed more starving mouths and even expand to more countries feed my starving children is very popular around our area sports teams groups families etc all go to feed my starving children not only for community service hours but for the experience of helping those who are in need so this is the first ad i did it's for instagram so the target market is tweens and teenagers within the area that are in need of community service or want to do team bonding with their teams, clubs, etc. The effect of this ad and how will be tracked, it will be tracked through Instagram business features. We can see who reaches it when, how, and like how we can better our ads. I show this ad because we have seen this photo since our childhood and it brings the idea of walking into someone else's shoes. Many of us have heard that song. And doing anything you can to help others. It reaches the empathy part of young adults and inspires them to be a part of the change. And how often we should run it. On the month of the event, the ad should be running daily for the weeks leading up to the event. Add to this is for Facebook. So my target market is adults on Facebook who are inspired to bring their family, friends, or maybe friends they have from different activities outside of their home life to be a part of the process that can help change someone's world. By being tracked, by using the Facebook business version, we can see who is viewing when and how they're viewing our ad, which will tell us how we need to continue marketing and how it's being reached. And why this type of ad? It shows those who are working to help be a part of the process, and it shows how much fun they're having. So it also shows the user that being a part of this process not only puts a smile on your face, but it also puts a smile on the faces of those who are receiving the food. And how often it should run, once again, it should run on the month of the event. The ad should be running daily for the weeks leading up to the event. And for ad three, this would be my Twitter or my X ad. So it would be for users in the area who want to see which states it is a part of and be able to contact nearby locations so they can be a part of this change. The effect of the ad it will be tracked through Twitter, business formats like Instagram and Facebook ad, 
we can select how we want it to reach users, who sees it, and then when they see it. And like it'll give us basic information of how to continue advertising. And this type of ad shows that no matter where you're from, you're able to change the world from anywhere. It shows people who live near a location can help change the world from the comfort of their own environment. And again, how often should it run? Once a month, on the month of the event, the ad should constantly be running daily. So it could be pinging different cell towers to reach different markets. And then it should be running daily up to the weeks of the event and then up to the day of the event. And finally, the ethical considerations. Free My Starving Children's high level of integrity and ethical decision making always revolves around the question, will this feed more kids? All of our decisions are made knowing that 24 cents is the cost of our nu- one nutritious meal. We're committed to using our resources wisely to make a difference in the world. The business is founded off religion, so topics that can degrade any form of religion should be avoided. National movements such as End Hunger can benefit the company extremely and help reach more places internationally. It would be interesting to see if there's a collaboration with End Hunger and Feed My Starving Children. Thank you.